We're joined now by Dr. Kate Tolenko. She's founder and CEO of Corvus Health, a global health firm. Um, so, Kate, what's your assessment about COVID right now in the United States and the, the sluggish vaccine rollout? Do you expect that things will speed up and improve under Joe Biden in the weeks ahead? Hopefully we're at a turning point now. So President-elect Biden has pledged to get $400 billion out to the states to speed up vaccination. You know, there's an important role for these mass uh, vaccination centers, but we really need to push it out into the community so people can get vaccinated at their local pharmacy, their local school, many of which are, are empty. You know, also hopefully a turning point as far as mask wearing and the president really encouraging that, potentially having a, a universal mask wearing mandate. Uh, but also, you know, we don't have any major holidays until Easter, so hopefully our cases will slowly go down a bit and the hospitals and health workers can get a rest. And, and also this new strategy of, of vaccinating everyone and not holding the doses back. You know, we have only vaccinated about 11 million people of the 30 million doses that have been distributed. So we know that Pfizer and Moderna will be able to deliver about uh, 400 million doses in the next six months. So potentially we can vaccinate every American who wants to be vaccinated in the next six months. Well, what advice do you have for people right now who are still feeling this fatigue months later and hoping for brighter days ahead? I mean, social distancing, stay outdoors, mask wearing, as you mentioned, is that even enough right now with the numbers going up and we're hearing of these variants? What advice do you have for all of us? Well, the variants are concerning. You know, we've heard of two variants coming out of Ohio that seem to have a faster transmission rate, be much more transmissible. But for, for people who have this you know, COVID fatigue, they want their lives back, uh, really they, they have to look at their risk and they have to make sure they have the best quality mask that they can get, you know, move beyond a single layer cloth mask to you know, a surgical mask or a multi-layer mask and um, have to calculate their risk uh, and try to do what's going to make them feel the best socially but be the lowest risk. So maybe meeting with one friend but not going to a bar. You may be exercising outdoors with a, a relative but not going to a restaurant. But really taking those smart calculations and determining what it is that you need for your mental health because I do think we're in a, a public mental health crisis right now. Good point there. Um, according to one report in California, one in three Los Angeles County residents have been infected with COVID-19. That's more than three million people. Um, what has been behind that explosive surge? Is it the fast moving variant? Is it lifestyle? What are you seeing there in California? It's very frustrating in California, especially since the state really has had such rigorous guidelines for mask wearing and social distancing. I think it's a combination of things. L.A., very densely populated, a lot of multi-generational households, many African-Americans and Latino households, which have really been hard hit, many frontline workers, you know, essential workers who can't stay home from work. Uh, in fact, in Latino communities in L.A., we've seen mortality rates in the last few months go up eight times, eightfold, and in African American, American communities, it's been 15 times. So it's really the social structure of the city. All right, Dr. Kate Tolenko, we always uh, appreciate seeing you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.